Hey everybody, it is again Wes with Pikes Peak Trades. Want to give you a real quick uh, video update here. Uh, want to talk about where I think we're at with updated accounts. Also want to just show you a couple patterns that I'm looking for um, to help me know when higher probability trades are coming back to the table. Um, as most of you know, I prefer swing trading. Uh, we are absolutely not in a swing trading environment. We are far from it. It is a day traders scalpers environment right now. Um, in fact, I think it's low probability to try to expect that anything is going to stick and hold overnight, whether that's long or short. And the way that we're seeing these alternating days of selling and buying um, is quite frustrating. So what I want to talk a little bit about is where I see count progressions going. And then looking at the MACD here, I haven't talked much about the MACD, but how we can get some clues from what's happened really since September of 2020 for when this market might be ready to swing back into longer bull trades. Um, now, I said it before and I, I do think it's true, it is much, much easier to make money on the long side and that happens when the market is in position to run to the long side. And what I want to point out here, this is on the on the NASDAQ, is that the MACD really since here November 23rd is opening up downwards at a 45 degree angle. And that is not at all the environment to try to be looking to swing long. It's really kind of a, a short the rip environment. Now, how do we know when things are ready to change? Well, if we go back and look a little bit, you're gonna notice that when prices reach the top of this bull channel and move down towards the middle, uh, there typically has been a little bit of a curling up right at the middle of that channel uh, that has allowed the MACD to swing up a little bit. And, and that's what I'm looking for is kind of happening now, that the middle of that channel has provided a place where price can bounce. I think we saw that today here. Maybe that continues into Tuesday, but I am expecting another selling leg. It's rare for price after reaching the top of the channel to move to the middle and then reverse back up to all-time highs. That, that has not happened um, since September 2020. We sliced through it, got back to it, went back down. Here in the February correction, we went to it, consolidated in the middle, went back down. Did the same thing again in April to May, same thing again in September to October. So I think it would be rare. I don't think it would be a pattern to count on for the low to be in place. And that's why I have decided today to stick to that short-term bearish count. Now, what I also am looking to happen is to get that RSI down into oversold territory. Okay, it, it's also... It's rare when prices reach the top of the channel to move down and stop before it's reached oversold levels. In fact, you can't find one um, in all of these significant degree pullbacks all the way through. Okay, so an another thing I'm looking for um, in the upcoming days. Now, back to the MACD, what we want to see happen is we want to see the MACD start to curl up and eventually get a bullish cross. And that is when you, you are looking for the market ready to swing long. And that is by far the more healthy and higher probability places to enter. So you can see it in mid-October up to the all-time highs. You can see it again here. It started to curl. And typically you get these big days, these big days. Some people call them wedge pops. Uh, some people call them follow through days. They're typically the days after the selling has reached a crescendo. A lot of times they're higher lows. That was true in May. Here it was true in October. Here it's true again right in here in March. That's when the market is aligned and ready to be in a position to run. And we are not there yet. Um, I, I would recommend that you still exhibit some patience it is possible that we've reached a significant low here and we are ready to run. And if I'm wrong with my projection, then I'm going to be looking for that MACD to curl back up, 
going to be looking for a one, two higher low that corresponds to those really good follow through days. And that's what I would be looking to try to catch for the next one up. I personally don't think we're quite yet ready to for it, but that just gives you an idea of kind of what I have my eyes on. I did also want to show you the SPX on the daily uh, because it has approached the bottom of this channel. Um, and so that that is encouraging that possibly maybe we do have a significant low and you're noticing again that that MACD is starting to curl up. But I would also just say it's been kind of rare for there at least not to be a retest of that oversold level on the RSI. So we, we had that in September to October. We had that again in February to March. Um, the difference would be in May. We didn't actually see that in May. May also didn't even reach uh, the oversold RSI on the SPX. It was already in position to bottom. So still, we're not in a place of high probability trades either way. Um, I think continuing to think about reducing the number of positions and their size is still wise until we can see that MACD curl up and cross until we can see price get back through those moving averages. Um, and we still have the eight day beneath the 21 day on both the NDX, the QQQ and the SPX. And until that happens, we're not yet ready to swing long. So could start and develop and continue this week. It sure could. But as for me and my money, uh, I'm not going to be deploying a lot of it for the next run until I see it happen. In fact, I'm still um, looking for price rejection underneath these MAs and then moving down to one more selling leg. But again, I'm, I'm not concerned here um, if I'm wrong. If, if I'm wrong, then we're going to see those bullish characteristics of uh, a, a leg that's ready to swing develop. And man, when I see it, I'm going to be ready. You better believe it. Okay, so just a quick update there on some things that I like to keep my eyes on from a technical perspective and super excited to see what we get the rest of the week.